Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, as you can see, we are still using the Oreo bag design, but this design is so diverse. Uh, as you saw in my previous tutorial, uh, I made the Oreo bag with wooden handles, which I will link up here for you in case you haven't watched it yet. And then I saw this design actually everywhere in Zara, H&M, they used this for uh, summer with raffia. But I thought this would be very cool for autumn as well. I mean, we just have to do bigger circles in the middle, uh, bigger sizes, use t-shirt yarn. And then I um, changed the handles in leather handles. And then, yeah, actually those were not just uh, handles. Uh, those are long enough that can be used as a shoulder strap as well. So this design is very diverse and uh, here we go with the first tutorial for the next coming season. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out, subscribe on my other social media platforms and watch this video until the end. So. Uh, I started uh, this uh, project using t-shirt yarn. It's not a very thick one, but it's not a thin, very thin one as well. It has a little bit elasticity as well. Also a 5mm hook. Um, I started with a magic circle and I crocheted 8 stitches inside. I will drop all the links for the materials in the description box and then you just uh, check the materials uh, down there. Also, I will uh, try to write the pattern for you there, so in the description box. Yeah, okay, so I just continued and I went on and I uh, crocheted 8 uh, stitches in the middle of the circle, of the magic circle. Yeah, so once you are done, then pull the end of the yarn. Uh, I think you are very familiar with this kind of process if you have been watching me for a while already. And then I started the second round. At the second round, um, I worked with back loop only. So the big circles in the middle are worked with back loop only. Yeah, I'm showing you now where to insert your hook if you are a beginner or if you are new to my channel and you haven't watched yet i have other projects like this that i just in work with a back loop so then i started the pattern for the second round which is one increase single crochet on each stitch and i repeated uh, this one increase eight times because we have eight stitches in the magic circle right don't forget to put a marker in the first stitch so you don't mess up the counting then I continue to do one increase seven more times. At the end of this round I will have 16 stitches. So once we are done with the second round, we will start the third round. So the pattern for this round is going to be one increase single crochet in the first stitch and then we will have one single crochet in the second stitch for one section. So because we have eight sections, we will repeat this pattern eight times. So once you finish uh, this pattern, you repeat it seven more times until the end. Okay, done the third round and we start the fourth round and this is how we are going to keep working. For the fourth round the pattern is first stitch one single crochet, second stitch one increase single crochet and the third stitch uh, one single crochet. So this is the pattern for one increase for one uh, section and then we will uh, multiply by eight because we have eight sections, eight increases from the beginning, right? So just uh, keep repeating this pattern and now as you can see I do the uh, increase in the middle so I will alternate sometimes I will do the increase some rounds I will do the increase at the beginning of the section and sometimes I will do it in the middle of the section I do this so then we have a perfect circle and we don't have uh, like angles of the circle and then we start to do the fifth round so the fifth round the pattern is uh, one increase and then we will have three single crochets. Mm -hmm. 
We will repeat this uh, seven more times.
Okay guys, so here it is. I finished um, back and forth, back and forth until at this point over here. Now I just have to hide this yarn in the back. And then I'm gonna have to put the leather handles up here, which uh, can be used also as shoulder straps because they are long enough. So let me show you how I'm going to hide this one and how am I going to sew the uh, long handles. Okay, that one is done. Uh, the number of the rows that I did back and forth is 72 rows back and forth, but you can do as many as you want to. I just thought that this was the right amount for me, as you can see like this. And now I'm going to sew the leather uh, handles here. Okay, so I got these uh, leather handles from Amazon. I will drop the link in the description box. You just have to check in the description box for all the materials that I have used. And then I will use this kind of uh, tapestry needle and some yarn in this color. First I will place handles like this and then I will sew. First I will sew the first one, which is fine over here. And I will keep it with my hand and sew. Okay guys, so this is how it is going to look like and I'm going to do the same uh, on the other side is here, uh, in here. I will repeat the same with the handle in the other side. So let me finish all the other um, parts like this and then let me show you the final result. And here it is. I really hope you like this tutorial and this bag, which is perfect for autumn. This is a perfect design, this Oreo bag, because you can just uh, change handles and it becomes for autumn. You see a pair of leather handles can make this design autumn ready. Yeah, I really hope you like this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Of course, suggest it to your friends who wants to do this bag. And don't forget to subscribe and thank you. See you on my next one.